Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to look at predators and prey and we need to be able to identify the features that make good predators and that make good prey. In the picture you can see a fox and a rabbit. So foxes are commonly seen in the city, so you might have seen one trotting down the road or in your garden. And foxes are predators, which means that to get food they have to hunt and kill other animals. And in this picture, it has managed to hunt and capture a rabbit. So the rabbit is the fox's prey. However, the fox isn't always the predator. Here we are, not necessarily in this country anymore, but an eagle has come along. Now the eagle is the predator and the fox and the rabbit have both become the prey. So depending on the situation, you have got to judge whether the animal is a predator or a prey. Some adaptations are designed to fool the predator. So the prey are trying to hide away. Here, it looks like a wasp because wasps are quite dangerous and they can sting you. You should be scared of a wasp, perhaps, if you are a predator. However, this isn't really a wasp. It's a fly that has the markings of a wasp. It's not, doesn't have the ability to sting at all, but it is trying to trick a predator into thinking it is scary so that it will get left alone. The peacock here has the feathers with the eye pattern on, and that is designed to fool the predator into thinking it is larger and there are many of them, so it's not worth trying to attack. The puffer fish in this picture is blowing itself up to a larger size so it looks really scary with its spikes. Again, these frogs, the colour is an indication that they are poisonous when in fact they are not. They are just trying to pretend they are more dangerous than they are. And then we've got hedgehogs, again an animal that you would find in this country. They're nocturnal so you probably see them in the evenings if you've got them trotting around in your garden. And the spikes are there to scare away predators. Some adaptations hide the prey from the predator. So the word for this is camouflage and we'll do some more words, work on our words at the end of the week. So here we have a lizard that is camouflaged in the trees. Here we have got a stick insect or a leaf insect that is camouflaging in its habitat. The colour of a lion actually blends in with the colour of the grassland that you would find in a savanna. If you blink a couple of times, you should be able to see that there is actually a lizard here camouflaged onto the background. And we have a ray which has the ability to camouflage and blend itself in with the bottom of the seabed. So it is your turn to complete task one. Can you decode these sentences, write them down on a piece of paper? What is a predator? What is a prey? And this is your first upload that you need to send back. Now we're going to have a look at predator adaptations. It is all about catching and eating your prey. You need to be a really good hunter. Birds of prey have keen eyesight, sharp beaks and claws to make them really good at hunting their prey. You might use camouflage to allow the predator to blend in with their surroundings so the prey don't know they're there. They're trying to pounce. You want to be camouflaged until the last minute to maximise your chances of catching that prey. Venomous snakes have poisonous venom to subdue their prey. Tree frogs have special pads on their feet so that they can cling to vertical sub surfaces so that they can jump and catch their prey really quickly. And king snakes are immune to the venom of venomous snakes, which means that they can eat them. So there is an adaptation higher up so the king snake can become the predator of another venomous snake. Some prey adaptations. They need to detect when the predators are coming. They need some warning so that they can run away. And they need some adaptations to prevent them from being eaten. 
you might use camouflage. So if you've worked it out in that picture is a turtle, but it's quite hard to make out. Prey have a good sense of smell and good hearing and they have speed and agility so that they can run away really quickly. We're going to try and copy the venomous coral snake. So this scarlet king snake has a pattern very, very similar to the venomous coral snake so that it can pretend it's got venom to scare away predators. And the big word for that is mimicry. It is copying or mimicking a poisonous snake. And then we've got a variety of warnings of colours and patterns which are meant to give messages of do not eat me, I might be dangerous, I might be poisonous, avoid me. Another key thing to know is the difference on the eye position of predators and prey. Predators have eyes that face forward. This means that they can judge depth. So they can judge how far something is in front of them. So if you want to jump on something and catch it, you need to be able to judge your distance well. They can pounce. However, it's more important for a prey to have eyes on the side of their head so that you can see as much going on around you as possible. It's all about sensing and detecting those predators. And some prey almost have 360 degree vision all around their bodies. We now come to your second task for this lesson. What I want you to do is write one to eight down the side of your paper. I'm going to show you eight animals and you need to write down if you think they are a predator or a prey. What you also must do is give me a reason why you made that decision. So let's do number one together. This is a ferret. Doesn't matter if you know that or not because you are using what you can see in the picture. So for number one, you need to write down whether you think this is a predator or a prey and then a reason from the picture that you can see to help you make that decision. So the key thing, I'm looking at this picture and the key thing that stands out are these sharp teeth. So for number one, I think this is a predator and my reason is because the animal has sharp teeth. That's what you need to do for each one. So number two, number two is a hare. Do you think it's a predator or a prey? And look at the picture for your reason. Number three is a mouse. Do you think it is a predator or prey? And is there anything in the picture that you can see that help you make that decision? Number four is a lion. Is it a predator or a prey? What in the picture gave you information to make that decision? Number five is a bird of prey. Number six is a lizard. Number seven is a shark. And number eight is a type of deer. When you've finished your second task, take a picture and upload that work back to class charts so that I can give you a positive referral for remote learning complete.